What's up guys, it's Rock here. Welcome back to Game with Cosplay. Today we have Dragon Ball Legends and it's going to be a yet another grind, uh, guide video, not grind video, even though we grind every day here, but it's going to be a guide video on what to do if you don't know what to do with the new premium, pre pre premium prepare the spirit bomb and uh, Legends Adventure, the guide that we're going to be doing today. Anyways, <laughs> if you guys enjoy Dragon Ball Legends content, Make sure you guys do subscribe to the channel. I try to do Dragon Ball Legends content every single day at 5 p.m. Central Time, as well as hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload some anime content. And let's get to 20 likes on today's video as we are going to break this down. All right, three things to get into. The one hour ones are available in the exchange shop on here at the very bottom. You can do that if you're going to be actively playing. Other than that, Bounce back between the three hour and the seven hour one for six out of the seven total adventure slots you can open. Always save that first slot for the 23 hour one so it doesn't waste your tickets in the, on the uh, adventure slots for six, seven, eight. Oh, no, no, no. Five, six, seven, six, five, and four. Yeah, seven, six, five, and four. I had to do it backwards. But for those, because you actually do have to purchase them in a way with your exchange stuff for uh, extra characters as well as the uh, Adventures Z slot uh, for that. So definitely don't want to use the 23 hour one on that last one. Okay. And I'll show you where it's at too so you guys can get a visual representation. So if you come to Rare Metals right here, you have them right there at the bottom, the 10 adventure slots. You don't want to use that 23 hour one there. Use it on the, the top, the pretty much the first one because it's going to be the easiest to grab from there. After that, you can come over to the Z Metal Shop and scroll down. 10 adventure slots, and this one is more on that pricey side a little bit because you this is the one where you rely on having duplicates of characters, and uh, more than likely you're going to want to spend your time getting the characters if you come to other and scroll all the way down you'll have some extreme units available here to pull which i highly recommend but that's why you don't want to do that three, 23 hour one just in case you do miss it, that time from grinding or hopping into the game or anything like that okay good <laughs> then you're going to hop in here once you send out your adventures you're going to be able to redeem some energy bomb tickets or energy take spirit bomb energy there we go like that like button and come into here and get some stuff my recommendation is something that i always do i always focus on energy tanks first then i move over to skip tickets and then right now i want to max out all my previous units for seven red star because i don't know nobody really knows besides the producers of dragon ball legends which units will be zenkai next so i'm assuming more than likely the older units are going to be zenkai awakened first so i highly recommend getting that as your your uh third priority right now it's energy tanks skip tickets and then these um increased chances for extreme tickets that or the uh with the uh stuff but highly recommend doing energy tanks and focusing all those i guess super spear bomb energies uh for the energy tanks and then get one skip ticket if you need it um, don't worry about Master Pack 1 and 2. There's a grindable ways to get those. And then after you do all that, come here and see that on the other that you have some more options to get those energy tanks and skip tickets. As you can see, there's 100 redeemable there with the regular one that's grindable. That Spirit Bomb one is more rare and it usually comes with logging in more than half the time. Uh, 80%, 80 to 85% of the time from logging in consecutively. So from this point onwards, guys, if you have missed already, I'm sorry, but you gotta you gotta hop on board so you can at least get one or two of them um, while this event is going on. And also, they will redo it when the update comes out, whenever that happens. And they'll do it for like that because they usually go through two updates before they kind of let the adventure go and then move on to the next season on that. Which the next season will most likely be spring related. So hop in now and get your spear bomb stuff done before it's all gone. And then what you're going to want to do is me, I currently have everything except some purple at minimum 10,000 Rising Souls in the collection. I'm building it up to get to about 20,000. I'm continuously trying to uh, filter and make sure that they're fully stacked. So when new characters come out and they need to be Zenkai Awakened or Awakened, I have a good amount of stuff to set up and get done real quick. So I don't, the grind isn't so long later because that becomes very time consuming. 
Um, that's kind of what I do. I started off for the first couple months when I was playing, starting off with the first two. Then I worked my way for the next couple months within this past two years that we've been doing this on the last half on those. Number one thing I did first was the Super Souls, for sure, back when it was its first year was the Super Souls. So I've learned the best methods for me as playing this game. You can take it for what you will. But that's just kind of the way I do it as prioritize energy tanks, skip tickets, and now I'm moving on into these Super Master Packs, um, extreme or higher gain T tickets because I'm trying to get those character 7 red starred because maybe eventually one of those will be an added accessory feature, possibly, to where if it's not 7 red stars, then you won't be able to get it for Shallot. I don't know because anything could be happen. Anything's possible. They could revamp some of the old stuff. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you like, subscribe, and favorite, share with a friend or two or three. As always, live free, work hard, and base on. Join me tomorrow for some more Dragon Ball Legends content. And if you guys aren't actively doing the adventures, do the seven-hour ones so you guys can at least get a good amount of rewards and just do that twice a day. That's all I have to say to finish off this video. Bye, guys. For more daily content, subscribe here. If you want to see more of my daily life and behind-the-scenes stuff, subscribe here. If you want to see some other games I play, click here. Also, if you want to check out my main channel for dance videos, topics, and solo adventures, click here. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell to get notified as soon as I upload new content on all my channels. Bye, guys.